One of the most asked questions I get is, why do you shoot film? More specifically, why medium format? I figured I'd answer the question for you guys in today's video. We will be comparing medium format film versus standard digital full frame camera to see how everything looks stacked up against each other. Right away, I will say that I love shooting both formats for different reasons. I usually stick to shooting digital for my commercial work and really anything that I'm getting paid to do. While film is much more of a fun way to express my creativity and my photography. The two cameras we will be comparing today are the Contact 645 medium format film camera with the Zeiss 80mm f2 lens. This equates to about a 50mm lens on a regular full frame camera, so for this test we will be locking my 24-70 lens at exactly 50mm. We will be shooting on the EOS R for our digital camera, which has been one of my favorite cameras to use as of late. We will also be bumping the EOS R's ISO sensitivity to 400 to keep everything the same. Turn towards me just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Perfect. The first thing I particularly noticed when comparing 120 film and full frame digital right off the bat is the insane amount of depth you get on a medium format image. This is in part due to the large sensor size paired with a large aperture lens such as f2 and you'll be getting about as much bokeh as you could ever want. The images on my EOS R were shot at f2.8 and the depth is also great, but nowhere near as much as the contacts. As far as colors go, this has everything to do with the film that I'm using on the 645 and how it reads the light, which is Portrait 400. Portrait is known for great skin tones and really nice, airy, bright colors, and these scans are no different. I edited the digital files my normal way and the colors are pleasing to the eye as well. For the shooting processes of the cameras, this is where we see a big difference. The Contax 645 is known for being a very comfortable camera to hold. Great ergonomics, but it is really heavy, so lugging it around can be quite cumbersome. I also can't instantly review the images to check exposure, focus, and framing like the EOS R, so you really have to rely on your knowledge to make a great photo with film. Overall image quality is also something to look at as well. Medium format images are known for having a pretty incredible image quality. A lot of the billboard campaigns and high-end advertisement shoots out there use medium format digital cameras because the image quality is off the charts. The images we got on this particular day have a ton of information and thus are able to be cropped to whatever you'd like. On the digital side, the EOS R, in my opinion as well, looks great. 30 megapixels is just fine for all my cropping needs 90% of the time. Now for my final thoughts. I personally love shooting film and I think it's a fun creative challenge and a great way to learn the ins and outs of composition and exposure. That being said, just because a photo is shot on film doesn't instantly make it a great photo. If you feel more comfortable shooting on a digital camera, there's no reason to just randomly buy a film camera unless you're interested in trying it out. Medium format specifically, I find very unique for shooting portraits and I absolutely love the look that the Zeiss lens provides. Now to answer the question. I shoot film purely because I love how imperfect the images I get are. They're usually a bit out of focus or a tad underexposed, and I love that. It gives character to an otherwise dull image. But do I think it's necessary to make a great photo? Absolutely not. Amazing photographers can make consistently great work with any sort of camera, no matter the format. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below regarding both film and digital cameras, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.